In this video, we're going to look at addition, and we're going to look at the column method for addition. So, let's start off with an example, 43 plus 25. Whenever you're doing an addition like 43 plus 25, it's a good idea to line them up in a column like this, 43, 25. Notice I've lined up the units, the 3 and the 5, and I've lined up the 10s, the 4 and the 2. And then put a line, and then put a plus sign, just to remind yourself that you did an addition. So, you're going to do 3 plus 5, well 3 plus 5 is 8, so you write the 8 beneath. And then you do 4 plus 2, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So the answer is 68. Okay, let's have a look at another one. 249 plus 307. Again, let's line them up in columns. So 2, 4, 9, and 3, 0, 7. Okay, again, put a line and put a plus sign. 9 plus 7, well, 9 plus 7 is 16. So you put the 6 down and you carry the 1. Now, depending on your teacher, you may put the 1 in different locations. Some people put it here. Some people put it beneath here. Some people even put it above here. It doesn't really matter as long as you carry over the 1 somewhere. I'm going to put the 1 here. Okay, 4 plus 0 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So then that's 5. And then 2 plus 3 is 5. So the answer is 556. So the most important thing whenever you do an addition is one, to line up the numbers. So make sure that you've lined up the units, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, and so on. And then secondly is whenever you're adding and the answer is above t uh, 10 or above, that you carry the one over into the next column. And you always make sure that you add that on whenever you're adding up the next column. 